Hello everyone, Argon Matrix here, welcome to episode 2 of Let's Play Secret of Mana Blind. And I was really not expecting the reaction I got out of the last video. That was like overly crazy. I don't know, there was a pretty mixed reaction actually. Actually, I know there were only like two people that contested this, but uh, regardless, we're going to continue on anyways. And thank you all for your loving tips. Can travel. Yeah, I need to go this way. I guess I need to go this way. Uh, yeah, so you all told me about like level ups of weapons and spells and stuff. And also someone told me, actually I think a few people told me that like you can like, uh, well I can't use my sword here, but you can like hold down this, the attack button to do something. So I guess I'll figure that out as time goes on. Can't, but there's one guy, what? Okay. Oh, he paid my way. Awesome, sweet. Uh, man, I'm getting these buttons all confused because like the B button is what I have to use most of all. Whoa. It's a very gilded cannon. I like it. Jeez, dude! <laughs> Where am I going? Uh, oh my god! <laughs> Holy gee! <laughs> That's awesome! Where am I gonna land, though? Like, holy crap. Oh, hi. Huh. Pandora? Hmm. You did, like, you just said three things that I didn't understand at all. You whipped to get through the shortcut in the castle. What? Uh, Major, what, duck? Did he say Major? No, I think it was Dialuck or something. This mission will be full of danger, but we'll do our best. I'm not sure if I should be reading the text or not, like, reading it out loud, but... Major Dialuck, all set. Right, let's go. No, I want to talk to the last guy. Dude, come back. Crap. But he better not have been something important. I don't know, man. Water Palace. Huh. Sounds important enough. Let's go. <clears throat> nice little staircase. That's like, do you even need that staircase, really? Oh, hey. Let's go, Argon. Man, why does my name look so angry when it's all when it's in all caps like that? And in this font too. Hmm. Ah, uh, this is not I like this music. This is very soothing. All the music up to this point has been really great. That's what a lot of people said too in the first episodes that uh, the music in this game is phenomenal. Hello there. <laughs> nice blue hair. All these people with blue and purple hair in these games. Yeah, where's Luca? Ah, uh, wait, who's Luca again? Some two hundred year old bitch? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Um, what? She's 200 years old? She must have- is this like the Fountain of Youth then? I don't even know. Uh, who am, am I supposed to talk to him? Okay. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense to me, but... The ebb and flow of the water brings news from around the world. Man, his power is growing weak. That's why this boy was able to take the sword. Oh, so it's not like I'm the chosen one or anything? Well, damn it. That sucks. There are evil monsters who are going to steal away the power of the mana sword. By feeding those evil monsters, you can restore the sword's mana power. The power is kept in orbs. Yeah, someone else mentioned that too, but orbs that, like, you have to get a certain amount of orbs to level up your thing or something. Uh-huh. So we need to find a blacksmith of some caliper, I guess? I don't know. Once I was only... Hmm, sustains every... Okay, so it's like the Triforce almost. Interesting. The Empire? Is the Empire striking back? Shit. That no that's no fairy tale. The Empire's trying to awaken it. Oh shoot. Okay, so is this like the whole story and we have to try and stop the Empire then? Is that gonna be our main quest here? Something is very wrong in Pandora. Could the Empire be involved? Do they even know I'm here anymore? They're just like talking to them. <laughs> okay. You go to the cave called Gaia's Navel. Huh. That sounds like a very mystical, cloudy place, almost. Dwarves live in that cave. Man. Dwarves always, have always been kind of a sour point for me in games, I don't know. They're always, like, so weird and rude and obnoxious. I guess that's what dwarves are supposed to be, though. Mm. Do you got anything else to say to me? Let's see. Oh, uh, what am I scared of? Shoot. I guess the fortress, because the sword... <laughs> I've handled many a sword in my days of LP and... Tell you what, in their final battle, even they could not control the mana. In the end, it was your sword that saved the world. Holy crap. How much power has been bestowed here? That's the, the mana sword. Okay. 
so it's not some cheap knockoff. Uh, why me or Pat? Why me, dude? I'm just some average ass kid. Why did it choose me? I don't know, but now you must re-energize it. Uh, I guess. I've got nothing better to do. I got banished from my village, so. You must become a hero worthy of the sword. T me? <laughs> I can't do that shit, man. It's impossible. <laughs> the Empire must not. Why is this? Is the text is sometimes hard. Maybe it's just my eyes getting old. This is hard to read, though. Regain the sword's power first or all is lost. Oh, to like the, like the unshackled or whatever it is. You must become a hero who is worthy of the sword. It's okay. I guess I have to say okay. It's a but thou must. Hold up the sword to the seed. Oh my god, that's not a, that's an acorn. Or that's the world's biggest, fattest seed. For a moment, the seed and the sword became one. You have sealed the mana seed with your mana sword. Now the mana power from the seed will be sent only to you and your sword. Cool. All right, so it looks like a Deku not all. The world has eight palaces. Visit them all, and it's always eight. I tell you, that's the magic number. Eight and three in every game. Those are the magic numbers. Take the spear with you. Oh, a spear? What? Okay, so I have two weapons now. It will grow and gain the power just like your mana sword. There must be more weapons like the spear in the world. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> She's gonna save my game. Sweet. Love it. Our guy is naval to find the dwarves and maybe, I don't know, maybe someone who can forge my sword or whatever they were talking about. Who knows? Let's find out, though. Uh, can I, like, run? Yeah, if I hold the A button. Makes sense, I suppose. So, if I'm, get under if I'm to understand this right, there's going to be a bunch of weapons that I'm going to have to all level up to eight. That could be a bit annoying. I don't, I don't know. Don't know how I feel about that. I'm sure you guys will help me along, though, so... Uh, is there a way to, like, switch to that sword, though? Or that spear? Yeah, there- okay. So I could, like, choose that now. And then do I actually- well, I can't use my weapon here, apparently. But, what is this? What? T Holy shit, what? <laughs> okay, um... Oh. Oh, I do have the spear, too. Okay, uh... What's with this red clouds on the screen? That's, that's like, ecstasy, man. Is someone shooting at me down there? I have a feeling I'm not supposed to be here, like it's that area in Mario RPG that you can access in the Kiro sewers if you glitch it out. So I guess we're heading south instead. Alright, makes sense. Uh, I think I'm actually, I'm actually gonna switch back to the sword just because I'm not totally confident that I should be doing anything with the spear yet. Alright, yeah, let's see, if I hold the B button now... Uh... But dude, he, he attacked me before I could unleash my power! Wait, I still did something there though, what the hell? Let me try that again. I didn't really see totally. Okay, so I do like a jump attack. But it's like a long jump. Oh my god. Hi there. <laughs> What's your name, sir? Didn't expect all the flowers of all things to attack me. Welcome to Nico's. Hmm. Oh, so isn't this, is this where like the true adventure is going to start to begin now? Now that I'm actually thrust into the whole big world and I can just explore? You're a cat. Need anything? Uh, what you got? Let's see. Is this, a, is this another store? Uh, what will it be? Oh, it is. It's like a store and an inn at the same time. Well, let's see what you got here. Uh, buy, I guess. Alright, candy. Uh, dude, I keep wristband. Shoot. Rabbite cap. Hair ribbon. I can't equip any of these things, apparently. Yeah, you guys told me that, like, if my head, if my face is in the middle, it's like what I thought it was that you can, uh, why would I need a barrel that I can equip that? So I guess I need to buy that fairy. A thousand GP. Jesus. And royal jam. There's a bunch of crap here that I have no idea what it does. I think I'm going to pick up this bracelet. Uh, because that looks like it could be kind of useful. I don't have enough for the banana anymore. So I guess that's all I can do. Uh, I don't have anything to sell as far as I know. Be seeing you. Alright, now I just have to figure out how to equip this. Um, okay, so I can press up and down to kind of navigate this. Equip. No, don't exit that. Alright, pick that. Uh, well, I thought I could... Oh, there it is. Okay. It might take a bit of getting used to this interface, but I think I'm getting it. Alrighty. 
no secret treasures in here? Well, there probably are, and I just can't see them because they're secret. Hell if I know. Uh, can I slash this? No. If I go back around behind the house, I'm going to find a thunder bomb. Hmm. I like this little place. I like this pond, too. That reminds me of my grandma's house. She had, like, a pond with, like, a lily in the middle like that, too. A lily pad. It's cool. I always used to love going out to the lake to visit her. Dude. Oh, my God. 11? Dude, he's got... He's, like, got me in a loop there for a second. That was scary. Oh, yeah. I'm not too used to these, like, action RPGs, whatever you want to call them. I'm more used to the turn-based ones, so this might take a little bit of getting used to for me. I do like the concept, though. What the... Dude! Oh my god! <laughs> I just died! Oh. <laughs> Where did this come from? What in the world? Did not get me out of there! What? Do not move, just stay still! You are very lucky, you're going to be our main dish. Dude, let me go. You look delicious. Jeez. Did I say Shrek? What, can I do anything? The dancing has to be... I want to see the dancing at least. At least me die happily dancing. Who is this? Is she, gonna ki is she an assassin? I'm already kind of screwed here. Dude, look behind you. You're looking in every direction. Except there you go. What on earth are you doing, you idiot? Yeah, please help me. Huh. Oh, sweet. I guess you're on my side for once. Someone's on my side. Mm. Well, that was really random. I owe you my life, but what are you doing here? I've been searching for someone. For a second, I thought you were him. A case of mistaken identity, huh? I guess I lose. What? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, come back here, dude. Oh. Well, what was the purpose of... Okay, I guess I'm just lucky to be alive. Beware of God. Yeah, thanks for pointing that sign out, like, right after the bridge. Right after the... Oh, my God. It's like a mushroom, dude. It's a... It's a mushroom. I don't know. What it, I, oh, my God. I got knocked out. He mushroomized me. Um. Can I kill this guy? Thank you. Jeez, that was annoying. That flower looks conspicuous. Yes. Yeah, I can. I can see that you can like tell which flowers are enemies because they're like brighter than the other ones. Potos Village, Kingdom of Pandora. Well, Potos Village. I got ex exiled from there, so I guess I'm heading down to Pandora. Dude, oh my God, I'm poisoned. What? Can I fix that? Maybe if I eat my candy, I don't know. Sure. Um, well, I'm still poisoned, apparently, because I was losing... Oh, level 3! So it was a total waste of a candy. What do you know? Oh, Rabbit gets whacked! Yeah, apparently I was right, too. That was a critical hit when that happened, the very first time I hit anything. I haven't gotten a critical hit s since then, though, I don't think. I love... I'm never going to get over how violent that is when you open the chest. Oh, uh, nothing down here? Can I hop down the ledge? No. Uh, let's see. Oh my god. I just charged right into that flower with reckless abandon. Jeez, I don't even know what to be saying anymore. Did I just block that? I, I could have sworn he like held it up in like a blocking motion. And he like blocked the rabbi as he was about to get hit. Huh. I didn't realize I could do that. If that is in fact what I did. Let's see if I can hit this guy with my uh, jump attack. Where is he? There he is. Die! Oh my god. <laughs> That's just so... You're going crazy when you do that. It's like, why would you ever need to make that much of a show about one single little hit against a rabbi? Mushboom gets whacked! Okay, so, I guess that's going to be how I figure out the enemy names is if I get critical hits on them. What is this? No, dude! Oh, crap! No! <laughs> that guy screwed me. I'm guessing he's supposed to be there to help you in case of, like... You need to come back through here at some point, but for the time being, he's just an asshole. Oh, I see a mush boom down there, too. Uh, oh, my God. Yes, I'm guessing that's what happened. I got hit by his spore attack thing, and he just knocked me out that one time. I wish I could charge this faster. Though. I guess as I said level up more, I'm probably going to be able to charge it faster. Probably don't even need to be doing it for these, like, 
itsy bitsy enemies. Alright. So what am I supposed to be doing anyways? I'm supposed to be looking for Gaia's navel, that's right. Uh, and they did say something about Pandora too. And the only sign I've seen that points out anything of those two, I'm following it, so... And this thing's gonna kill me if I'm not careful. <laughs> Jeez. And I'm not gonna get saved by that dude again if I die, like I did in the first boss. When I died like three times. Okay. Ah, uh, Potus Village, Kingdom of Pandora, nice. There's a whole kingdom down here? Is it like just a town, or... Hi. This is Pandora, I was told to let you pass through if you arrived. Okay. Tasnico. Tasnica is in the castle of the king. Don't talk to the people in town. Are they going to kill me if I do? Are you error? Huh. Wait, no, talk to me. Dude. They're not saying it. He's not saying anything anyways. Well, regardless of what that... Dude, it's him again. Oh my god. He's just going to be in every town. He's following me. Nothing much here, though. Well, I'll see what you got anyways. Uh, Kung Fu suit. Apparently, I can't equip that. And I already got the wristband, so you got nothing for me. I'm sorry. I could buy some candy or something, I suppose, but don't want to be wasting my GP when I don't know what's coming up ahead. Oh, uh, there's an inn here. Might as well use it. I'm pretty low on uh, life. Help yourself to a bed. Sweet. Aw, oh, dude. <laughs> Way to taunt me. He thought I thought it was going to be free. I thought you were going to be a nice man. Be nice to your sister. Don't drive on the railroad tracks. Wow. <laughs> Gets nighttime in a hurry when I need it to. Sure thing. Oh, is that going to be it for this episode? We're up to like 17 minutes. I'm, I guess I can just wander around this village for a bit. I don't know what I'm doing. My cat is going crazy outside the door. She seriously just started that the second I started recording. So I couldn't even do anything about it. Now she's just been meowing this whole time. I don't even know if you can hear her. Why are you talking to me? I don't know anything. <laughs> it's like those guys in Zelda 2 and they're like, I know nothing. Oh, he secretly knows something, I bet. I bet he's going to be a major character. I don't know. He's got a water wheel. And I, if, I, if I know anything about Twilight Princess, that's going to be significant. Uh, hi there. No, you're not talking to me either? What's up with these people? Dude, I don't want to go down here. Not, I don't think so. Uh... I'm a little bit scared because I I was thinking I was supposed to go to a palace to meet meet up with Gemma, something. I don't know if that castle's actually in this town, but I guess we're gonna find out. Cause this is just like the first town in the kingdom of Pandora, right? Help my mama and papa. What's wrong with them? Whoa, what's happened to mama and papa? Huh? I didn't realize they're not they're not moving. They're not even talking. What's going on, man? Hmm. I don't know. I really don't. I guess we're going to find out. My best guess would be that someone cursed this place. I have no idea. Cursed this place. Ever they cast stone on everyone. Uh, oh, hey. Oh, man. Now, all of a sudden, you're not even talking. You're still dancing up a rave, but... Whatever. Uh, this is awful. It's just though they've lost their will to live. Wait, who are you? you you're you moving. Don't you ever shut up. What? <laughs> Dude! That's not fair. Oh, she was trying to go in the house, but she couldn't. Is she actually walking a predetermined path? I can't even tell. God, there's so many houses around here. Did I go into this one yet? I don't think so. Grandma's growing senile and won't say a thing. Is that what's happening to all these people? They're just growing senile? These senile old farts? But some of them are young. Uh, some people are gathering at the ruins south of this town. Odd things have been happening since Grandma goes there. Oh, it must be a cult. Huh. I think, I, I don't know. I kind of want to go and explore those ruins that they're talking about down in the south, because I love ruins. Uh, I don't know if I'm supposed to be doing anything here yet, but I think I'm just going to head south. I don't know. Because I haven't seen anything else around this village worthy of note, so... Uh, do I have time for anything? What is this? That's a scary statue. Well, you know what? I think that's a good enough statue and a good enough sad theme to end the episode off on because we're right at 20 minutes too, so... Uh, we didn't really get much done. I guess we... Well, we did get quite a bit done this episode. We got 
Well, this is the beginning of the game, and I can't expect to get done getting things done in such a hurry. Plus, I'm blind, so... There you go. I guess we're just gonna end off right in front of the statue, appease it, whatever we're gonna do. And next time, we'll head off to the ruins or some such thing. I don't know. But, for the time being, thank you everyone for watching. This has been Argon Matrix, signing out. Thank you, and good night.